Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So it seems like every major AI YouTuber has already recorded a video about Dolly 3 and I thought I would also put it to the test since uh, this is free at least for now and it poses some great opportunities namely greater text recognition and just an overall improvement of quality and uh, to get access to Dolly 3 you need to have uh, an account with Microsoft Bing, then you just go to bing.com slash images create and there you have it. This is apparently Dolly 3 and just to avoid any confusion or mistake I have uh, also uh, opened up a uh, Dolly 2 account so I will be running prompts back to back to see the improvement. And so a few things that I wanted to test out uh, first was the future image so give me a featured image for a blog post about can dogs eat longan with with can dogs eat longan inscription okay let's hit generate and we'll do the same for Dolly 3, same basic prompt. Okay, so <laughs> this is a mess. Langa Karna dos Dai Dong. Dio Vlog Dong Kang. Well, this is all Korean to me, figuratively speaking. And this is just not very good. But this is Dolly 2. Let's check out Dolly 3. And it's still creating, so it's uh, it takes longer, at least for me. Okay, so can dog sit long again, can dog sit long again, can dog, so this one is uh, messed up. This one is a little bit tricky as well, but so look at that, can dog sit long again, especially compared to this monstrosity. Okay, so Dolly was uh, notoriously terrible with limbs and just bodies. So uh, the one image I would struggle with uh, was in the fitness niche, so a photo re realistic image of an athlete doing a one-arm push-up and once again same prompt but with dolly 3 okay so this is just terrible i mean this one is photorealistic but look at the fingers like it's all disfigured and stuff and even the eyes and these guys are just wow well, I never realized Dolly was this bad actually. I've been uh, using Mid Journey for a while and I forgot how terrible Dolly 2 was. And I'm seeing this uh, 30 minute wait message. Okay. So it's clearly digital art, but one, two, three, four, five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this one is suspicious. But the quality is pretty good. Well, you could not have mistaken it for a real photo. And this one, I guess, is the closest to a man uh, performing a one-arm push-up. But it's pretty good. So it's pretty good. Let's uh, look at the dolly too. Yeah, once again. So this one is terrible. Uh, this one is just much better overall. Much, much better. And I tried this uh, before. And I think I got this one, which was, again, the closest to what I was going for. So this one here is again it's pretty good so all fingers are intact no disfiguration to eyes nose to ears and i think this is a pretty good improvement overall then what i wanted to play around with is logos so a circular logo for a website about ai called trick me not and once again we'll try the same with dolly 3 and this is just, yeah, this is just nonsense. This doesn't look like anything. And it's just a big fat fail. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, trick me not. Uh, trick, uh, this one is uh, not correct. So is this one. Uh, and so is this one. So out of four logos, I actually like this one. That actually would pass as well for a logo. It actually looks like a coin for some reason, not a logo. And the dimensions are all wrong, so it's kind of uh, tilted. So, but yeah, a pretty good job, especially especially compared to what was uh, generated by Dolly 2 originally. Something else I wanted to try, a red 
call to action button make it a red a funny funny red call to action button origin to subscribe I'm actually very curious to know what dolly 3 is going to do with this okay so once again it's not usable with dolly 2 so none of this is usable so this one is cut off this one is all weird this is something that cannot be used at all so i'm actually curious to know who are the people who are still using dolly 2 to be quite honest but i'm guessing that once dolly 3 rolls out fully dolly 2 will become obsolete okay so this one is okay i guess and um, the prompts could have been better i suppose uh, but I like this one. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it's made a mistake in the text, and um, they they owed it actually, even though the subscribe I think was spelled correctly. But um, they are kind of funny, and you can Photoshop the text, I guess. Hmm, but I was ex expecting something better from Jolly Three, to be quite honest. But at least they are. Kind of funny look so another thing that i wanted to try was the, the infographics so create an infographic for five vocal exercises and at this point i think there is very little merit in using dolly 2 even for comparison's sake because it's clearly not delivering on anything that i've tried so I might just as well stop generation with Dolly 2. We'll take a look at this. Excacevoresase. Mm. And this is just, wow. I'm not commenting on that. I don't want to get banned from YouTube. This is just, yeah. This is creepy as well. So local exercises are creepy. I'll just close down this whole window because I'm just getting frustrated with Dolly 2 at the moment. And now it's a five minutes wait, so I guess it's dynamically changing. From when I started, it was 30 minutes, now it's down to five. And I would assume that the demand would be very high for this right now, especially with all the YouTube videos. Okay, so this one is interesting actually. So again, the prompt was to create infographics for vocal exercises. This one is actually, this one is not bad. It's a little cluttered. And yeah, so, and this is for seemingly four exercises not five but yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good if you just use if you go to canva and use the magic eraser or some of their ai tools you can really create good infographics and now i will just uh, show you what i've been able to create uh, prior to this video i think i started around here so this was old dolly this is new so the happy birthday cards uh, so i don't think Dolly has butchered the text once, so this is a pretty good happy birthday card. Then I was playing around with the uh, featured images or whatever, I forgot the exact prompt actually. Oh, this is the prompt. A YouTube call to action banner about AI urging people to subscribe towards the scale YouTube channel. And words at scale, this one is correct. Words at Sikape, I don't know what that is. Words at scale, once again, pretty good looking image. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, interesting. Then I uh, did the uh, Kendo Oxid Longan thingy. Kendo Oxid Longan, and I like this one the most. So, but the problem would still be if you have a block and you have your own color scheme and styling, you wouldn't be able to replicate the styling each and every time. So I'm still not sure of the value for the featured images unless you have this amazing dialed in prompts that uh, creates outputs uh, of the same style each and every time. Then I did the infographics and the infographics will turn out pretty good. An infographic about how to perform vocal warm-ups. So I think this one is pretty good. Again, a little bit messy. So I would have probably chosen maybe this one here or even better, this one here. So pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Perfect vocal warm-ups. 
Then I tried uh, an infographic about how to perform five vocal warm-ups, lip trills, tongue trills, creaking sound, humming and straw. And again, the results are pretty good, so a little bit messy. They need a little bit of cleaning up. And yeah, but this is pretty good. This is pretty usable. Hmm. Maybe not this one, <laughs> but still. Uh, then I was just trying something random about infographic about how to mine crypto at home. And again, pretty messy, pretty cluttered, but still. Maybe an, an inspiration for an actual infographic, so I like this one a lot. And I have these placeholders for text, which is pretty good. So, um, so is this one. Again, placeholders for text. What else? And yeah, I tried the muscle up one. So this one, this one was pretty good. And the prompt was extremely easy, like a photorealistic male athlete doing a muscle up. So look at that. It's pretty good. Oh, all five feet, again, all five fingers intact. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So there you have it, guys. Dolly 3 is out, so you can access it via Bing Create Image Creator. It's much, much better. You can use it for free. Uh, you can use it within the Bing chat itself. There you have it, guys. Hope you found this video helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.